I'll show you something on the web browser today that has made me cross. I'm not going to get cross, but I'm just going to. We're going to talk about Elon Musk for a second. We've got to look at this. It's in the BBC News. Let's go web browser. This is Elon Musk and his his operation. Elon Musk unveils a pig with a chip in its brain. There's a pig. I'm not going to play the video. The pig's got a chip in its brain. Like not a chip like you eat, like a potato chip, but an electronic chip that they drilled into his brain and, and put in. And that was so successful that now we've got a monkey. This monkey's drinking some banana smoothie whilst playing Pong on a computer. But he's also got two chips in his brain. Two. Two of them drilled in, popped in the old brain. I've got no chips in my brain. I've got a choice about it. So Elon Musk, for all of his money that he's got, still doing that to the animals. Like, oh, days. I'm not going to get heavy and like, oh, da da, da 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 But they're all celebrating the successful progression of Neuralink. Isn't it good they can play Pong? The monkey doesn't want to play Pong. The monkey doesn't want to play Pong. He doesn't want to have something drilled in its brain. And we don't get to see all the unsuccessful operations, the ones where they drilled the monkey brain and the monkey was just dead. You know, I don't know how many times that happened because they won't tell us. It might be that it never happened. It might be that it happened a lot. But it can't happen if we don't experiment on monkeys, can it? If we don't take the pigs and drill their brains, then we can't have any accidental pig deaths. And to be honest, a pig would be happier without the drilling in the brain. So Neuralink is pushing ahead. Switch to the old web browser there. You can see that there. Look, Neuralink. It's got the old Neuralink. It says it's Neuralink there, doesn't it? This is the BBC. Elon Musk. There, it's first line. Neuralink, Elon Musk. Uh, they're pushing ahead with animal testing for their their product. It's quite horrific, isn't it? It's not like... I mean, all animal testing is horrific. All of it is. Mo most of it has been excessively horrific. One of the worst things about animal testing is that uh, they kill the animals at the end to, to check what happened to them. <laughs> even if they get through the tests, even if they get the drugs and the smoke and the whatever it is they're testing on them, even if that goes well, they murder them and then do an autopsy to find out if anything else had gone wrong in their body through the you know they want to find out all the information so they do that through an autopsy uh, but with Elon Musk what's worst about it I know they're experimenting on brains aren't they so you're going to think you're going to need to experiment on some living brains and I can see why they might think a monkey brain would be a good choice but uh, I personally and this might just be me this might just be me, you know, you can tell me if I'm wrong here. But personally, I think it might be better to not do it on animals that are innocent and have no choice. But maybe do it on people that are either not innocent or do have a choice. And if you're Elon Musk and you've got all that money, all, right, all that money, people do a lot of things for money, don't they? I'm sure there's a lot of people who'd be willing to, you know, let you drill in their brain and put a chip in for a certain amount of money. I think that's that's fair isn't it that's the economy that's i think that's supply and demand i think that's how things work isn't it and if you've got a choice you can be part of it and if not you don't have to so you can still have your brains elon and you can spend a little bit of your money to get them that's all it would take the other option is to lobby the government to allow you to test on on the criminals now it's it's careful dicey here it's dicey it's dicey because uh, if you're testing on a criminal the criminal justice system isn't perfect and there are people that are in the criminal justice system that might be innocent so you might be testing on but maybe they could choose again again you know maybe they could choose maybe instead of this 25 year sentence i might do 20 years and five years of elon musk's brain program uh, you know maybe that's their choice maybe they can have a choice uh, maybe the bad people like the vo yeah, maybe they could volunteer. You see, maybe the really bad people. And again, far be it from me to. Uh, I've seen people. <laughs> I've seen people debating what's bad and good on Twitch. You know, ethics and politics and all that. So far be it from me to enter into an ethical political debate here. But you know, the bad people who have done the murders, or the bad people who have done the other bad things that are bad. That I'm sure we can all. You know, we've all got our favourite bad things that we don't like the people who do them. There are bad people out there, and there are bad people in the prison. We've got them. We've, we've confirmed they're naughty. We've seen the naughty evidence. They've got the video of them being naughty. They've done the naughty things. They're in the prison. And we're looking after them now for a long time while they live in the prison. So maybe there's a maybe, you know, maybe. Again, this is complex. So I'm not saying, oh, tell me off for being wrong. 
But what I am saying is that maybe there's an option. Maybe there are other brains that Elon Musk can test on. That other people that he can drill people, animals, animals, people, that he can drill chips into their head and uh, they can play Pong. Maybe they prefer it, you know, maybe it'd be all right for them. But that monkey, I'll tell you something for a fact. I'll tell you something for a fact. That fella, he don't know nothing about having his brain drilled. And whilst he might enjoy the smoothie and uh, operating Pong is giving him infinite banana smoothie, that monkey's better off in the wild. Animal testing is wrong, is bad. Certainly, I mean, I've had a vaccine that I think has been tested on animals. So there are certain situations where the future of humanity might be beneficial to test on certain small batch animals in favour of large groups of animals, humans, uh, not dying in droves. Okay, you know, it's complex again, it's complex. But I think if you just skip the animal, because what can you really learn by killing a cat? You know, what really about human anatomy can you really learn by killing a cat uh, maybe we don't need it anymore maybe we've got other options maybe and this is a mad mad idea mad on mental health monday using the phrase mad as a oh, naughty scott the uh this is an out there idea i know i know this is an out there idea but if you weren't allowed to test on animals would we not have drugs would we not have Neuralink? Would we not have products? Would we not have perfume? Would we not have makeup? No, we'd still have it. We'd still have it. It's just it would be more expensive to test it on humans. And that'd be it, isn't it? That'd be it. You just, you'd have a different testing program, like I said, the criminals testing program, the, the volunteers testing program, the people who would rather have more money and risk their health testing program. Because a lot of jobs ask you to risk your health for money. So, you know, it could just be a job, couldn't it? So you could have that and you wouldn't have to kill all the animals and make them suffer. And it must be brutal, mustn't it? It must be brutal. We can ask Carl Sagan, not the Carl Sagan, the, um, not Carl Sagan, the uh, physicist, but the one who plays Mario. He's got a degree in biology and did some animal testing. Uh, we don't have to talk about a streamer that, that did it, but, um, you know, I'm sure we can find out more about these I'm not an expert. I'm not that educated. I've not ever done any animal testing. So I'm sure we could interview some people and talk to them about what it's like to actually do it. But personally, I feel like it would be really brutal. And I really feel like, personally, it would make me sick and not, not want to do it. So uh, it might be nice for the people who have to do it for a job, you know, who are making these drugs, who are doing this Neuralink. It might be nice for them to not have to do that. Mind you, they might like that. They might like that. They might be able to go home and say, oh, I had a good day at work today. Drilled this bloke's brain and put a chip in it and he was playing Pong on the internet. And uh, I don't have to feel bad about it. Instead of going home saying, oh, I had a bad day at work today because I did this horrible abuse to all these animals and now I feel bad. I mean, maybe they don't feel bad. I don't know. But that's Elon Musk. Today's Elon Musk update. <laughs> Elon Musk's update, isn't it? Neuralink. That's our Elon Musk update for the day. Neuralink is going ahead and uh, I've got another point to make about Neuralink while we're talking about it a lot of money being thrown into it but my brain doesn't interface with the computer very quickly does it the, the quickest interface I have with you is my talking that's what we're good at you can hear my words I talk them at you some people can't use that interface they use other verbal non-verbal sorry uh, written sign language uh, so we have fast communication between brains it's probably about as fast as you can go and if i was plugged into a computer i'm not a coder i haven't learned javascript or anything like that so it can pump information into my brain but i'm not going to be able to, to I, I predict i might be wrong i'm just a lay person but i predict whilst the monkey can move the pong and whilst we might be able to use our brain waves to manipulate our objects you know digitally uh that's going to be Capable, the same as I can with my mouse <laughs> so I don't need my brain drilled because I've got a mouse uh, and the same as I can with eye tracking technology or other things there will be disabled people who this might be really beneficial to so I'm not poo-pooing it completely I, I see that but uh, I just question whether the two-way interface is going to work because computers don't work like the language they speak the information they use the way bits and data is assembled is not the same as the way my brain works. 
the biological processes, the chemical reactions, and I'm pretty sure you can stimulate my brain with electrical impulses, uh, and that's going to make me feel things and think certain things in certain ways, or not feel things, not think things in certain ways. But the, uh, you know, our, our brains are very plastic and capable of uh, taking on, like, we never imagined we'd drive around at 80 miles an hour, did we? But suddenly we can do it, and our brains can handle it. But uh, the, uh, yeah, the, I think they're overestimating how easy it's going to be to create a two way interface between computers and brains. And I think that we already have very fast interfaces that push the limits of our, how fast can you talk? How much information? If I spoke at you, if you watch this on twice speed, four times speed, can you take that in? Are you going to be able to understand it? Information doesn't just bang into your brain and it's there. You're not just going to put a plug in on and then it's, I know this now. The information is going to come to you through the computer at an incredibly high speed and your brain is going to somehow assimilate it. I, I'm not buying it. I don't believe it. I just don't think so. I think that we didn't, if I, the saying about evolving and becoming cyborgs, I don't think that we humans have evolved as quickly as our technology has. And the evolution we've been doing in the last 800, 2000, 5000 years is nothing compared to what we've done in the last sort of 800, 5000 days in technology. And that speed of evolution technologically, uh, it's, it's, we're not, we're not catching up humans. We're not, you know, we're meat bags, aren't we in the way Bender sees it. And I think that, uh, I, I honestly believe that Elon Musk's Neuralink is being sold to people as this amazing thing that's going to be a two-way interface between brains great for giving people that are disabled you know more interactivity options with the world and things like that they're going to sell it like that but i actually think it's not really about that what it's really going to be about what it's really going to be about is collecting data straight from your brain and using it to their advantage because data is important data is valuable and if you've got an elon musk Neuralink in your brain you won't be able to switch that bugger off that's going to be sending data you know your thoughts your thoughts are going to be being straight into the neural link it's going to own your thoughts so uh, i don't see that as a big advantage to me but I, i'd see it as a massive advantage to someone like elon musk massive advantage to them uh, and it'll probably be easier won't it it'll probably be easier for the computer to take data out of your brain than it would be for you to access the worldwide internet all at once in your brain and, and know all the data so maybe maybe you know there's a, there's a two-way street there that we're being missold mismarketed and people celebrate what's going on with that monkey they celebrate that isn't it brilliant